Hello there, Snickers, and welcome to Pokemon Wi-Fi Battle. Did you like my, uh, 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 uh oh, fuck's sake, oh, my opera, my opera uh, intro uh, for this battle. This battle is actually four months old. Uh, yes, it, uh, this, I mentioned this battle in my battle before my last battle, but this is going to be uploaded after my last battle because I noticed it while I recorded my last battle that I had this battle. I was like, oh, that's good. I can record this one and that'd be great. Now, this was the time where Greninja was OU, so we both have Greninja. That's all I needed to say on that account. But it doesn't really matter, judging by the performance of both Greninja in this game, that not very uber worthy in this game. I just got fucked in my froggy arse by that moon blast. It's a scarf on, so that's how I knew. And now I know it's scarf. I'm going to go to Rima and I'm going to go for, for the Shadow Ball. I don't know why I'm having a bit of an opera. Oh, opera feel to the... I, I can't... I ate it when I make myself giggle during something because it makes my voice go like that. Like, that's why I went for heal. Anyway, Shadow Ball is going to hit that incoming Hippowdon and that's not delicious. I thought I'd just go for Sludge, sludge, sludge Bomb because it, Sludge Bomb would be nice because it will do a lot of damage to any of his Pokemon. He doesn't have a Steel Dive, I don't think, but he's got a Ground Type and doesn't do as much, but he still did a decent amount. But anyway, I'm going to bring in Brom, Chestnut, Bulletproof, Chipmunk, Chestnut. Chestnut has to be... One of my favourite um, favorite starters. I mean, hang on. Blastoise, Typhlosion, Blaziken, Napoleon, Samurai, and Chestnut. They're my six favourite of each generation. And my favourites of each, you know, each generation starter. And Chestnut's definitely up there. I uh, I love how I get a bulletproof one and I've not been hit by any Shadow Balls. I've literally no balls have been slapping my bulletproof monk's face, basically. And that's tragic. And I actually don't think I've used Drain Punch. Like, it learns Drain Punch. Of course I like it. It learns Drain Punch. You get stabbed from it. And it's a defensive Pokemon. That's why I like Chipmunk Brom. Chipmunk Brom, Brom. That's it. Chestnut, that's it. Chipmunk Brom, Chestnut. That, 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 that's, that will be no, it's not going to be the title because I've gushed about Chestnut for this battle and the last battle, so I'm not going to gush about it anymore unless it like rapes uh, several witches and crusades across the land of the homeland and frees mankind from the villainy, villainy of frogs and wizards. Anyway, I'm going to bring out Meloetta here. He actually, well, he, I don't, I didn't bring him out. He roared me into Meloetta. And this is one of my one of my two mythical Pokemon on this team. This is my special defensive Meloetta. I really like special defensive Meloetta. Like if I'm if I'm like having a block on which special defensive wall I want to bring, because I'd like to bring a defensive wall and a special defensive wall at least in each of my games. And I'm just thinking, what do I bring a special defensive wall? Fuck it, it's a cleric. I'll bring Meloetta because it has Hyper Voice, Stab Hyper Voice, Stab Psychic, and with Serene Grace, maybe I'll get some spe special defense drops. I've got Heal Bell. And a move that I can't remember. Probably uh, Shadow Ball. I think I've got Shadow Ball for a more special defense drop. I can't remember. I think I do have Shadow Ball. We shall see. May well, no, we won't see because I don't think we actually see Shadow Ball in this battle. And there we go. Greninja not doing well. It Greninja didn't do well this battle, as I think I've already said. Like, his did better than mine. His didn't get his froggy ass handed to him on a silver platter. But he still, at least he did some warming of the shrooms before I gave it to him with my loud voice. That's basically how it happened there. And look at this. Look at how beastly Meloetta it lives. It lived a U-turn. And that's brilliant. Unfortunately, the burn is going to kill me. Although, that's actually not too bad. Because I'm going to do some damage to the guard of war. Don't get the special defense droop. De de special Hang on a minute. Special defense drop. Not droop. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I didn't get a special defense drop, and he does get Serene Grace, so his Moon Blasts have a higher chance of being special attack drops. But I swear Moon Blast is like the fairy scold in the fact that it does its, spe its, does its secondary effect like nearly 100% of the time. I seem to get a lot of drops, and I get a lot of... I get dropped a lot when Moon Blast is in play. But whatever. I have the Diancy. It's the Mega Diancy. I'm going to go for the Diamond Storm. Was not predicting the Zapdos to come out. I just, I just thought... I'll hit Gardevoir on its physical defense. It's weaker defensive side. That's basically what I thought. But it turns out to be brilliant because I'm going to do a absolute ton of damage to the Zapdos. Like, about after leftovers, about three quarters, which is brilliant. If that was like a phys... I doubt it. But if it was a physical defensive Zapdos, I would be super impressed. 
But I think due to the fact that he switched his guard of art out into Zapdos, that he thought I was going to be special, you know, he's going to... I think it's a special defensive for Zapdos, so let's just put it at that. But still, I'm still impressed. Come on. Now, that defense boost I got from the Diamond Storm is really going to help here because he has got the Mega Low Pony. That's his Mega, the Roughneck in Tights. I've got a princess, sweetheart. I'm the princess. You're, you can't dress like that around a princess. But he is going to fake me out going, look at me. I am actually wearing a dress. Lol, JK. No, I'm not wearing tights. Kicks me in the nose. I live because of my defense boost. I'm like, no, get out of here. Moonblast. Get your scraggy tights out of my out of my domain. Go on, get out of here. It does. It dies. But yeah, he's going to bring that Talon Flame. It's like, wah! And Talon Flame is actually going to go for the Brave Bird. And I would have I would have made some strawberries. I would have grew some strawberries, gave them to my opponent and shat in them if I'd have lived. Because I'd have been shitting on these strawberries because Diancy lived. It doesn't. So my strawberries have been shat on. I'm getting really excited while doing this narration. Like, it's very rarely I get really pumped up when I record. I'm probably well too loud. I'm probably my microphone spazzing out. But I don't care. I'm having fun. Hopefully this translates because, I don't know, it just seems the Wi-Fi battle's really unlock the enthusiasm because i'm just literally sitting here vaping hand roaring at the screen well when i'm playing a game i have to concentrate on playing the game but with this i don't have to concentrate so hopefully the enthusiasm of my nonsense talking get that's probably why the wi-fi battles actually do so well i like i'm fine by the way thank you so much for the reception of my last one thank you very much if we could try and do that again that'd be brilliant now here's last pokemon's gardevoir i thought Chestnut was my last Pokemon does I've Infernate, but anyway, he that's why I was a bit confused why he didn't lock himself into Moonblast. But then again, I have Infernate, but I completely forgot about Infernate then, I think, and I completely forgot about it now, actually. So I, I thought Brom was my last Pokemon, and I was like, Yes, Psy Shock. Brom can take us if it was a psychic, I probably would have lost straight then and there. I would have lost, but now that it's Psy Shock, Brom can take it, go for the seed bomb. The crit didn't matter because it well, if it was like um, Gen, uh, Gen 5 or below. That crit would have mattered, but seeing as it's like the cal, you know, it's the sixth gen crit, or it's one and a half times, I probably would have hit him to it, two hit KO him anyway. I'm gonna live it just enough to get a leftovers after that turn, spike shield on the next turn, and then go for another seed bomb, and that's the game. Fabulous, well done. Comment, like, subscribe for Brom because Brom did very well in that. I probably, if Brom did die. I would have brought in Infernape, who, as I say, I completely forgot about at the time, and I only just realised after I finished recording this, I was like, oh shit, I've got Infernape. But yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Hopefully you've enjoyed the roar of this part. Thank you all for watching, as I said. I keep, I'm shit at ending videos. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I hopefully see you all next time for some more Wi-Fi battles. Goodbye! I think I've had a bit too much caffeine today. Exciting times.